How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be covering my secret weapon when it comes to upgrading to multi-stage equipment. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by RLS, original, patented, proven. Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. And by Infocon. Infocon just released their latest refrigerant scale, the Waytech Pro, for all jobs, big or small. It can handle a large capacity up to 275 pounds or a small charge adapter kit allows you to weigh in the small A3 refrigerant bottles like the R290. So if you're in the market for a nice, good quality refrigerant scale, check out the Waytech Pro. All right, so recently I just upgraded a furnace for this customer. We went from a single stage 80% to a two stage 96%. So obviously we had multiple stages to deal with. And on this particular job, we only had a four wire conductor going to the thermostat. So we only had four wires to deal with and we needed actually what, six wires. So, cause this particular customer wanted to stick with a Honeywell T10. So a T10 has Wi-Fi capabilities, Bluetooth capabilities and multi-stage as well. I believe it's a three heat and two cool um, straight or conventional type system. So obviously we didn't have enough conductors to do that. And the customer really wanted that thermostat for all of that functionality. So I got to thinking, what can I do to be able to help me facilitate this project the way the customer wants it? So I picked up the FastTat Model 5000. Now this particular model is exactly what I needed for this particular job. So this one actually adds a common wire and then three control wires. So it had more than enough than I needed for this particular job. So when it comes to these FastTat you have multiple options. Like I've got here, the Model 1000, the Common Maker, Model 7000, 9000, and again, the 5000 is what I use on this particular job. So every model has something different. And on the, on the box, it tells you what they're capable of doing. So the Common Maker adds a common wire. So that way, if you're installing a Wi-Fi thermostat, um, you can just grab that particular one. Model 1000 adds one control wire to a thermostat or condenser cable. So keep that in mind. These will add conductors to your thermostat cable or going out to your condenser. So that way, if you're going from an AC to a heat pump, that sort of thing, you just want to make sure that you've got the right one for your particular application. Now, for the Model 5000, there is a orange wire on this particular model. And in the, in the direction, sometimes it may not tell you what to do with that orange wire. Um, I have the updated uh, instructions in this manual, so it did tell you what to do, but I've seen some questions out there asking what to do with the orange wire. Um, basically, in a nutshell, this particular model, you can control and adjust the voltage for the receiver, and depending on what application that you're in, but most times, it's ready to go out of the box, and all you have to do is just cap off that wire. It's not gonna be used. Another common question that I'm seeing with these FastHat is that you have a sender and a receiver, right? So the receiver you mount at the indoor unit, and then your, um, your sender is gonna go to your thermostat in this particular application. And it's, it's a pretty small little device, and it's designed to go in the wall cavity behind your thermostat. And it comes with long enough wires to where it'll kind of hang in the wall, and it's away from the thermostat. These do put off a little bit of heat, not much, but enough to where you do wanna get them away from the thermostat as much as possible. So the directions are the amount of wire that comes with that sender, don't cut those short, just let it fall down in the wall and connect it to the thermostat and then you're not gonna have any problems. Um, so the question raises that is there's not enough room behind the thermostat for whatever reason, let's say it's an insulated wall or there's a, you know, a two by four or four by four box. Well, in that situation, FastAt recommends that you do not use their product in that. You need to have that open space cavity behind the thermostat to allow the sender to drop down and to get away from your thermostat. So keep that in mind. So that's kind of, uh, that's probably one of the biggest things. Um, another question that we're seeing a lot is the wireless communication. Is it wireless? Is it wired? So on these, on all of these products, there's no wireless uh, uh, communication with them. It's all wired. And if you read the directions, you'll see what wires to use. It's a red and a purple wire. So you don't have to worry about anything um, in the field as far as getting in, 
frequency wise becoming a problem because it's not wireless, it's completely wired. And which gives you a very long range too. So for the most part, they're saying keep it under 800 feet. You should not have a thermostat 800 feet away. You should not have a condenser 800 feet away. Uh, so you're not gonna have any problems when it comes to that. Going back to you know the Fastat, you have multiple options to choose from. So on this job, I used the 5000 and it worked great. I just walked through the directions. You know, it has a little sticky back so you can stick it directly to the inside of the cabinet or wherever you can fit it. And you can even put some uh, screws that have some mounting holes if that works for you too. But that sticky back works well. So, um, and it comes with all the wires that you need. It's pretty straightforward. So just make sure that you're getting the right model for your application and then you're gonna be good to go that you shouldn't have any problems. So on this particular job, it worked out well. Again, we went from an 80% single stage furnace to a two stage 90%. And I was able to use the thermostat that the customer wanted. He was super happy. I was happy because the whole install was smooth, it was easy, and it fired right up, no problem. So really pleased on the whole product lineup and how everything, because it saved my butt out there. You know, if we wouldn't be able to use the thermostat that the customer wanted, pulling a new wire just wasn't feasible. Now there are other options that you could go to, like a two wire design, three wire design from other manufacturers uh, thermostat wise, but the customer didn't want those options. He wanted what he wanted. So I needed to find out a way to make it happen. Thankfully, Fastat had me covered there. So that's one cool thing about this industry is that we come across all different types of applications, situations, and you have to learn how to navigate those. You really have to have this problem solving mentality to where you're thinking outside the box. You're constantly figuring out new ways and new new um, processes or products for this matter, tools, whatever it is, to be able to accomplish what you want to accomplish without just saying, oh, it's not possible. So something to think about. That is, it'll really get you out of your comfort zone. It's gonna make you a better tech or a better installer, um, whatever it is that you do. It's just gonna make you all around better at your job. So anyway, I'll, I'll bust open one of these boxes. This is the Model 1000. And again, it's gonna come with two devices. You've got the receiver, it's really small, so it fits in a lot of uh, tight areas. And then you have the sender. So the sender is it's pretty small. Typically, the hole where your thermostat cable is coming through the wall is large enough for this just to slide right on in there. And then they give you, you know, roughly, uh, you know, 10, eight to 10 inches here of wire. Again, you want this to dangle down in the wall, and then this goes and connects to your thermostat. So anyway, it's pretty small. It's easy to get in and out of the wall if you need to remove it for whatever reason. Just make sure that the opening in the wall itself is big enough for this to go through along with that cable that's coming out. If not, just open it up a little bit, no big deal. That's what I had to do on this project. Um, they actually had wood behind there. So I was just very careful with my drill bit and I was just you know boring out that wood behind there. And I just took my time to where I didn't damage that cable coming out. And then it was no problem. This slid right down into place. Um, everything wired up the way it was supposed to, and we were good to go. But that's pretty much it. I mean, these things are simple. There's really no programming. There's no you know wireless buttons that you have to push to sync up or anything like that. You just mount them, wire them up, power the system on, and you're good to go. So that's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed uh, the process of installing that. It comes with instructions how to do everything, how to wire it up, depending on what situation or application that you have. So very detailed instructions, very easy to follow. So if you guys have any questions while you're though in the field, what's nice about FastApp is that on the box and in the instruction, they give you a phone number to call, tech, uh, their tech support number. So I tested it out while I was there. I, I just wanted to know how quickly, because most tech support, you might get a call back in a couple hours, maybe the next day. It's, you know, it's not a very good situation. So I tested it out. While I was there, I gave them a call, and I was like, hey, I have a question. And I just wanted to test out their tech support. They, um, basically, I, I, I left a voicemail for them, and within two minutes, they called me back. And they were able to walk me through 
just to make sure that I was installing it right, everything was functioning the way it was supposed to. And again, I did it mainly just because I wanted to uh, check their tech support out and see how well they're there for the technician or installer when they're in the field because they need help right then, not hours or a day later for, for the most part. So anyway, wanted to check that out. So it worked out well. It was great. They're fast. They're quick. They helped me out. And uh, I was off to the races. So anyway, I wanted to you know address this product because for one, I think it's great. It really saved my butt on this project. Um, there was really no other way to do it the way we were wanting to do it without utilizing the fast app. So I wanted to make a full video on this. Um, you know, again, this install went completely smooth. So my job is I want to relay that information to you guys. If it helped me out. I know it's going to help you guys out. So I would recommend grabbing every single one of these models. Go ahead and, and get one of each and get them stocked on your truck, get them stocked on your van. So that way, if you run across a job where you need something, you got it. You're good to go. You don't have to worry about trying to source them or, you know, whatever the case is, you will have them ready to go. So go ahead and just get one all, all, all through the models, the common maker. And that way, whatever situation you run into, you have what you need. So Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, see you guys later.